Okay, so now you have tried the Coachman Nova, which is the Pro Master. You've tried the Coachman Beyond, which is the Ford Transit. Now we're gonna get you in Papa Bear. We're gonna get you in a Mercedes Sprinter. This is a Coachman Galleria. This one also has the Li3, which is their lithium system. 630 amp hours of lithium batteries. I, I don't remember what your road trek had back in the day, but nothing nothing like this. I don't know, but you had to go back into the shop about every two weeks because lithium was just coming out. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Road Trek was definitely innovative. They yeah. were definitely they were the, the first. They, they were the first. The yeah. first. I, I remember selling them in 2014 yeah. and 15. Yeah. And I remember being like, lithium, what the heck is that? Yeah. But I will tell you, Coachman's done a great job with their lithium system to where their solar, the underhood generator, the lithium. And what's cool is there's a gauge in there, it tells you time wise how long you have until the batteries die. So this is the four x four. This is the Mercedes Sprinter. This has, this is the A floor plan, the 24A. That A has the twin beds in the back that kind of have a power recline. There's also a really cool little office setup in the front that I think, I think you really take advantage of, Mike. And there's one thing in here. I don't know if you guys can find it or not, but there is a hidden dog bowl that you slide out under the cabinet and there's a dog bowl there. So I bet Bo, will absolutely love that there's a hidden dog bowl <laughs> just for him. I don't know about bowl, but I will love, you might love that it. there is a hidden <laughs> yes. dish that we bring out and yes. then we get it out of the Slide way. Slide it right back in when you're done with it. So he might go over there and start scratching <laughs> when he gets hungry, you never know. All right, like uh, all the models we've seen, there's different floor plans for this. Correct. And pricing roughly yeah, for pricing this one. is high 100s, depending on four wheel drive, lithium, uh, different options, but you know, 180, 190, 200. I mean, it's pretty common for these to be north of 200,000. Oh yeah, I think all, almost everything we looked at at all Tampa. These sprinters, yeah. yeah. And if I understand, all three of these have three different floor plans. They do, yes. So if you're not happy with one, look at the other, that is correct. and then look at the other. That so is there's correct. something for everybody. That is a true statement, Jen. So the, the Nova has a rear bath, so it has twin beds in the front and a rear mm -hmm. bath. The Beyond I gave you is a C, which is the power sofa mm -hmm. with a mid bath. And then this is an A that has twin beds, the mid bath, and that front little office area in the front. And so I, I, I kind of wanted, you know, I'm, I'm trying to pull you guys, <laughs> trying to pull you back to the B. I need you guys on my side. I need you on my side. You are a wise man. You know that Mike cannot resist that office yes, space. That is true. All right. I want an office space too. <laughs> <joke. laughs> That's true. She will just steal mine. Nick. Yes. You true. need yes. to. All right. Are you ready to go see this I one? I am ready. Shadow Well, we have been driving for a couple of hundred miles now. Couple of driving impressions. Nice cab, huh? Oh, it's very nice. Uh, there's lots of leg room, and Bo has got room to lay down in between us, which he likes. Um, the seats are very comfortable. Uh-huh. Nothing but thumbs up for the cab room. We're at I-10 uh, and uh, cruising along about 70 miles an hour. As to the mileage, we are averaging 12.4 miles a gallon. Uh, that's not great, but it's uh, certainly better than a lot of other RVs this size. So 12.4 miles per gallon. Driving is pretty good, I would say. I, I think we're, we're ready to uh, say this is the best uh, comfort wise cab, yes, right? It's got lots of room. What I've noticed is a lot of squeaks. I don't know what's bouncing around everywhere. I don't know if we don't have things battened down. Well, we don't have or, much in here. So yeah, there isn't much in here. Basically our sleeping bags and pillows and that's about it. So, But you know, uh, all that stuff kind of shakes out if you well, get my drift. Well, <laughs> I you drive. It feels different when you're up like this. You know, when they build them like this once before, we had this situ you know, this type of an RV. And um, it does ride different. Yeah, it's it's uh, higher up, and that that, uh, that makes a difference, I think. These dually wheels uh, do make a difference. Uh, when we are passed by other vehicles, or uh, particularly a semi-truck, they're much, uh, much more stable.
So this is the granddaddy of all Class Bs. 24 feet, 2 inches, the extended length Mercedes uh, cutaway chassis. And the Galleria Li3 uh, has a lot of features that we can't wait to show you. And I can't wait to see, so since we're outside, let's start with the outside. All righty. All right, so let's start with the driver's side. The first thing I think you want to notice is this Arctic white. It's a really nice color. And uh, permanent running boards here. If you see over here, you notice because this is a 4x4, four four, uh, it is raised a little bit. You've got a lot more room there. And this is good for, you know, uh, boondocking, getting down those roads that are deeply rutted and that are a little, you'd bottom out on some of the, uh, the traditional two-wheel or even some of the all-wheel drive. This one has lots of room because it is 4x4. Four four. Uh, but a nice, clean side. And if you step back and look at the whole side, you'll see there is basically nothing uh, indicating this is an RV. And the indication that we are at the beach in Florida is uh, this airplane that is flying overhead advertising uh, uh, places for people to go and grab uh, food and drink. So we're gonna have those guys flying us around all day long. So no point in stopping. So the only two things on this side uh, is a vent for the Truma uh, water heater and uh, this the Truma runs the water, uh, the, the furnace and the air conditioner and this 110 volt outlet. And that is very nice to have if you are uh, going to be at a campsite, you can put up a little table here, you can bring the TV from inside or bring your own TV, put it outside, you can set up a little table for barbecuing and stuff. Uh, the back of this vehicle is uh, like some of the others we've shown you. It all is in the back. Well, before we even get there, look here at the hitch. Uh, full duty hitch. Uh, this will tow 5,000 pounds. So you can bring a toad with you, a small car. Or you could take a boat or put a box on it or a bike rack or whatever you wanted. Opening it up, you'll see what makes what you do with that extra length on this thing. Remember I said it was 24 feet. Uh, two inches and this is the uh, inside part of all of this you have so much storage in here let me give you a quick example of what you have um, back in see how much room there is three little cubby holes in here that you can put things in this is the outdoor shower that you can hook up to the water thing this is obviously just the 30 amp supply over there is a table a lagoon table that you can set up inside a laundry basket and if you look at the far end of that we'll show you when we're inside it's like a little laundry chute you can get access to this storage or you can and you have a little laundry basket i want to show you this section right here this is a 30 gallon water tank up on top is of course are those beautiful uh, lithionic uh, li3 uh, the bat the batteries that the li3 uses those lithium batteries uh, you've got access to your water pump here you can turn that on if you're outside and of course inside is the bed but uh, wanted to show you all of this storage this is what you get it's kind of like an under garage you know i can't help but uh like that laundry basket because what do you do with all your dirty clothes i usually really have to think hard but it's easy access to get rid of those dirty clothes and I'm loving all the storage down here. And having your water where it's warm, it's not gonna freeze inside and the batteries here, I think this is really a good idea. Yeah, and on the door, you've got these little cubby holes too that you can keep. And what I found interesting, you don't have to release anything. You can take the door back. Oh yeah, and this of course is if we wanna just reverse this thing and we could back this up and be on the water, uh, we should have probably done that when we shot it and you have here a screen That is uh, we've seen that on other coachman models. They have I think one of the nicest screen systems anywhere So you can be inside and keep the bugs out and uh, Right on the other side here is a privacy screen So when you're sleeping you just bring that down Bring that down and uh, you don't have to worry about it And they've also built this up nicely so that your pillows aren't going to fall into the uh, basement. Yeah. yeah. And something that we appreciate no matter what age we are is there's a handle here. Oh yeah, grab handles. 
if you need to a little help to pull yourself out of bed. And here's a little touch you don't even see. See, if you have your cell phones, there's room right in here to put cell phones. Uh, and it's just like a little tray in the back in here that you could put your cell phones. There's chargers in and the I back. And I can't tell you how much I like that. Having your cell phone. Your glasses, convenient. whatever yeah. you want that, yeah. that's in there. Okay, so that's uh, the back and we'll show you more on the inside when we get there. But let's walk around and do the, um, the driver's side of this uh, Galleria Li3. Well, this is a beautiful machine. It is. Now, again, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll step way back and we'll give you a quick look. There's very little to tell you that this is an RV. You know, other than the, the name Coachman over here, you know that. Uh, this is the 30 amp shore power. And again, we've shown you that on the other ones. This is that smart plug that Coachman uses. This is your water access uh, port. And uh, it's this is very handy. This will... Uh, you can pull that down and it'll stay so it's not going to close on you while you're hooking <laughs> stuff up. Oh, where's uh, your spirit of adventure? Well, how many times are you trying to hook it up and the thing is falling? Just a little little plastic thing that you put to block that off. Uh, in here, you have your city water tank, your uh, 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 water fill or, you know, either the fresh water or the city. Uh, you've got uh, an outdoor shower, which would connect there, that little blue thing I showed you a minute ago. Uh, a black tank flush, you run another water hose, not your drinking water, but another one in there, and it will shoot water in and clean out that black tank. Uh, this is hot and cold for that uh, shower that you have. Uh, here is a hookup for the satellite and one for the cable. And this is a switch. This is for the macerator. This has a macerator instead of that stinky slinky. And one more thing on this, um, when it's down like that, you're gonna bring in your uh, city water hose you just uh, pull this off to the side and same with this one your water hose goes there through that little mouse hole that you can make and you can put cables here to hook up to cable TV or whatever it is you want so they have really sort of thought that through very well and of course this is all locking so that's the only other thing on here all the rest is kind of hidden from view here is the macerator. The macerator is here. They have like a little, they call it a, I think a girdle, but it's a little strap that keeps it all on. You would basically pull that out, put that in the sewer, and uh, it's a long hose, and we've shown many times how a macerator works. And then you'd push that switch I showed you a few minutes ago. And what a macerator does is it takes all of the waste from your black tank and it churns it all up. It macerates it before it puts it in black. It's much cleaner and much neater than using those gravity-fed stinky slinkies. It's much quicker, too, to empty the tanks. And that's it. Uh, fuel is right here. And uh, as we point out, this is diesel. All the other units we've shown you so far uh, have been gas. This is diesel, so remember that. It's pretty hard to miss it. It says diesel right there, but I'm sure people screw it up and put it gas in, and you don't want to do that. Uh, this is diesel. What about the DEF? Uh, there will be a DEF that you have to use. That's another thing, but if you run diesel, you're well aware of DEF. Okay, so what I'm noticing, there isn't a DEF. Uh, way to put, fill it right there. It's in the under the hood. And that is better. Then you don't make a mistake. Uh, yes, uh, someone I know did that. <laughs> under who it could be. But no, I mean you know. Someone you're... I know actually, <laughs> on the previous one that we owned, when we opened this up, they had a DEF hook right up there too. Right next to it. And on a rainy day, that someone I know uh, accidentally put DEF into the diesel, and it was a mess had to drain it, had to clear out filters. You don't want to do that. And but, uh, but so the I, DEF is filled inside. Well, the I'm trunk. saying I appreciate this yeah, because in, it eliminates some of the human error. Under the uh, hood is where the DEF is. Yes, I love that. They're smart. Good idea. For, take a, so people like that person I know who <laughs> put DEF in the fuel won't be hey, able to do it on this hey, one. Hey, I know somebody that filled the whole thing with... Uh, the wrong fuel once. Wasn't me. Instead that really that was that not wasn't, you. That, that was wasn't somebody that person that we I knew. <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay. You got to take oh, him on the gotta, inside. I mean, I got to get to work, huh? Yep, your turn. You're not even going to lift this to show Isn't this how beautiful awesome day, the though? engine is. 
So, Better you know, maybe we're doing all these, we're doing these reviews just so we could come here to Florida <laughs> and do our work. Oh, we're at a, a, a park that's Chactahatchee Bay uh, in the Panhandle and just uh, down this way is the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so this is the Coachman Galleria exterior and uh, Jen's going to take you now and show you the inside. And again, I'm going to say I appreciate having this kind of a step instead of one of those instead things of one that slides out and in because being from Michigan ours always rusted out the salt and same with the in weather Florida, the, the humidity yeah they... so this is going to last longer before you go in look right here look right got here. kind of a Ooh. for your outdoor stuff you know you have a little charging center 12 volts there uh, and you and there is a USB-C USB-A uh, this is uh, for satellite or TV. satellite for um, cable, and then this is uh, a you, bottle opener. <laughs> you can put the TV here and uh, bring it around and sit yep. outside and watch TV. Shut or the door. Or you can use it as a bottle opener. But that well, TV, you can take and hook it up right there and move it out. Yeah. The first thing you see as you walk in is a wonderful desk, table, work area. I I absolutely love this. You've got. Some drawers here that work great. Amish people make great cabinetry. And remember that from Coachman. You want to show them the far down here? Oh, this yeah. is pretty cool. Bend over a little, and you've got a tray for your dog's food and water fits right in there. It's not going to slide and bounce around. I could leave that like that when we're driving down the road. And he's always got water. He's got water. This yeah. is a feature that those of us who have pets appreciate and I, I think just about 70% of us travel with a pet, a dog or a cat. Now people are going to ask what you do about that chair and Mercedes by the way has the best internal cab that we have seen in any I uh, mean, any of the class B's. There is space. And it's easy to get up and move it around. It is so easy. It is so roomy and nice up here in the Mercedes. I can't even begin to tell you the comfort and the room. See that on the wall, on the side of that? That's your uh, electric uh, seat adjusters. It has memory. Uh, so you can set it for driving for one position. For two, you would set this, to, this actually swings around and then you use that seat as your office. Same thing with the, the, the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. But then you would just uh, set that up as a memory for two, push number two there and uh, it would move for you. And uh, this is so convenient. It is, and we should probably swing that around. All right, and we will adjust our seat. <laughs> Look at that. So now I can work right here. I can put my laptop in here. I could put a printer in there. And um, this is something that I particularly like when we do a lot of video and photo editing is this screen right here. This can serve as a second monitor for my laptop and for video editing. Uh, when we want to check our video, we don't have to all gather around a little screen on a laptop. We could sit back and look at that. Uh, there is, I should show you on this wall also, the little Firefly controller for your, shows you how your fresh water, your gray, your black, your gas. Uh, you can control your lights, air conditioner, all that through that. 110 volt plug so you can charge your laptop or your printer or put, turn that on if you want. Congrats to Coachman. There's their 12 volt, their USB connections, uh, USB A, which is, you know, type 2, but then type C. They have realized that uh, type C, uh, type C connectors for USB is pretty much the standard. Uh, one more thing underneath here more storage. Isn't that nice? Very nice. And you can keep a lot of the stuff you, you need right there for your office. Uh, remote workers would love this. One more thing while we're in the office area is the storage cabinet right above. And what is in here? So I'll start with the solar charge controller. And you can see right now in the sunshine state here, we're putting about 8.1 amps into the batteries of the solar. Uh, you have an on off switch for the solar a battery disconnect switch right there. Over here is your Xantrex 3000 watt inverter. Uh, gray tank heat, if you're in a cold climate, you don't want your gray tank uh, freezing. Why isn't there a freshwater heater? Because you don't need one. Because? Because the tank is underneath the garage and heated. Yeah, the garage is heated. Isn't that cool? 
So uh, that 30 water freshwater tank is w where you're living and it's warm in there. Uh, gas on and off. Uh, cool things, motion lights. When you open a cabinet, the light will come on inside the cabinet. Uh, this is cool, a lot of people love it. This is ground effect lighting. And it, besides looking very cool in the, at night underneath the RV, it's a handy thing to have if you are emptying or you have to access your macerator. Uh, that light will help you see what you're doing. Or if, unfortunately, you pull in at night and yep. you've got to set up camp at night, it would make it a little bit easier yep, to have it, any extra light is appreciated. It would. And this is uh, Wi-Fi. They have the Wi-Fi Ranger uh, right there. And that uh, extends your Wi-Fi network a little bit. Uh, it's a handy thing, and you can actually use that for a connection. I think you can put a SIM card in. Um, this is the Truma uh, heater uh, for the... Uh, the heater or the hot water heater um, whether you want to run on gas or electricity and if you just want to run a fan uh, for Huma or for Truma this is great uh, the um, uh, Xantrex uh, lithionics battery monitor here let me just show you right now we've got all the lights on in this thing all of them and right now we could run everything for two days and 21 hours almost uh, uh, 22 hours going back and forth almost three days right now with just the battery power that we have you want to show them one of your favorite features and we've shown it on the other two uh, coachman models but they do such a good job with the screen let's pull this and we shut that and the bugs are out and we are in and the breeze is coming in yeah and if you're at your workstation you can look out and see the beauty of Florida or you can tend to work all right, let's uh, move down uh, on the uh, passenger side and we'll show you some of the other features. It's, you can't have enough electric outlets in yep. case you wanted to cook here or whatever you want to do, you got electric outlets. Yep, and those are, I believe those are inverted. Yeah, they are. So, and that's a vent for heat uh, right. on the floor down here. You see that? There you go. Vent for heat. The spice rack. Good idea. Salt, pepper, any spices, whatever you need to put in here, it's here for you to use. You don't have to install one yourself. It's factory installed, so it's put in well. Uh, the uh, paper towel rack, you don't have to think about that. It's not going to unwind while you're driving down the road. It's handy for where you need it. The sink and the faucet, perfect. Our burner. Inductive cooking again yes and uh let's start looking oh to put uh, that's your this and that door my yeah this and that door maybe pens whatever you need you can keep it handy there ah our waste basket and i would probably put uh cleaning supplies in here laundry soap some people put recyclables in there too oh so, yeah. yeah that makes a lot of sense the recyclables because yeah. this fills up quickly actually the recyclables is probably the better idea <laughs> i'm just always looking for a place to put uh, laundry detergent and things like that uh this is um maple again and handcrafted by amish in uh in and around uh, elkhart indiana so it's beautiful it looks a lot like a yacht like a high-end boat or even an airstream you know, kind of the curved uh cabinets lots of storage mm -hmm. i think pots and pans and uh the microwave's low but i'm not it a big be. fan of a low microwave like that well, i'd okay. like it higher but i also like cupboards so i'll go with the cupboards okay well i'm happy with cupboards that is your domain and yeah those open up into one big cupboard as you see mm -hmm. which is really nice so nice uh, uh hinges and uh all that stuff are, are really st solid in this thing. And we should point out that this is not carpeting. This is a composite material that uh, provides uh, our insulation and it also dampens sound uh, from the road outside or anything that you might have inside that's rattling around that really helps alleviate that. So the two doors up there and of course we've got this to cover up the sink so you could i like, got a larger work area and to put your silverware probably in there for me so i think we've pretty much covered this area and this is a spot where you could put your coffee, coffee maker. maker maybe i don't know if you get your toaster back there it's like a appliance garage but certainly yeah. my coffee maker would go in there mm -hmm. and uh lots of room for that and again it's all 
it's bounding around there. It's not going to make any noise and it's not going to get hurt. Yeah. So, uh, we'll just keep going this way? Yeah, we'll stay on the passenger side here. Okay. If I open this up, I think I better switch places with you. Well, I think you can open up. We'll figure it away. See? Look at that. Hey, you can right. reach in. This is like in the other units we've seen, and we won't have to spend much time. It can be a wardrobe, mm -hmm. uh, or you can remove these these um, shelves, a couple of them, and we'll have a half a shirt or whatever. Uh, take them all out, or just roll up and put your clothes there. And two, two drawers. drawers for one for each person. Usually, there's two people oh. in a rig like this. So, however you would best like to use that space. Now. Um, we just can show them all of the storage up here. And there's that Truma air conditioner, super quiet. Um, Truma has just knocked everything out of the park with the standards for air conditioning, particularly in class B, so quiet. I don't think I need to open all these, but you can see that there yep. are a lot of uh, cabinets, a lot of storage space. Now here is the unique situation in the bedroom. It is, over here. It, it looks, pretty big right but uh, well, here's the problem right where Jennifer's sitting okay look at that you're gonna bump your head this well, is not necessarily a place you're gonna sit or it's going to encourage me to slow because uh, you can see there's it's it's sort of raised up so you have that big storage area underneath so the bed is up a little bit and as a result of that this part here is really not very comfortable for sitting because you're gonna hit your noggin on that that's but, something I'm not real excited about. But you could sit here. One person. And there are different floor plans. Yes, there are different floor plans. But these are pretty cool because oh. let's uh, let's show how all of that works. We got to find the switch. It's right back in the back there. Ah, so watch in the back. And watch this. Oh my goodness, it's like magic. Let's see. Jennifer's hitting that switch, and this is articulating. It's kind of like a lounge chair. Let's see how high chair. it'll go. How high will it go? Right there. All right. And then we've got your reading light. Yes. If so, you want to watch TV. So or so while you can't sit here, you can come back there and sort of kick back and lounge and read. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And watch TV. Uh mm huh. -hmm. There's a TV right there as well. Two TVs. And there's a reading light right next to Jennifer. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And. Um, I'm going to lose it. She's going to fall asleep back mm, in there. You might. And mm. they both will do that. Uh, this is nice. This is a, a little uh, extra cushion. So you have... So it'll room. make into more of a king-sized bed. And then this uh, is a little storage area. You could put medicines, jewelry, whatever you wanted in there. And to reach the laundry basket, right there. Isn't that neat? I believe... I heard somebody, I think Nick told us, uh, Nick Schmidt from Sunshine RV, that some people actually little, put their little their little dogs go in there, but I don't think our little bow would fit in there. I don't think our little bow would like it in there at all. All right, so that power lift on these articulating uh -huh. uh, beds works with the switch. They're pretty nice. Here I thought maybe I could affect the other one too, and that when you're sound asleep I could be... Messing with you, putting you up, <laughs> down. Yeah, somebody knows about your pipe because I'm with there. I can, I had, I would control mine. Yeah, but All right. this is extremely comfortable. This is nice and thick and cushiony, and uh, you got your bed made up all the time if that's important to you. There are two televisions, and uh, so you've got one back here if you want to watch TV in the bedroom, and you've got one up front. Now this, this extends out a little bit. Most people love their TV, and I think that's probably 24 inches. Yeah, and uh, it's 12 it, volts, by the way. So you you're running off the chassis battery instead of having to. Turn it, it sticks out a bit, but I think most people, 99.9% .9 of the folks, would rather have a big TV screen than not have it stick out. I would bump into that. I I bump into it a lot. I. I have to learn. This is the Nova Cool refrigerator. Make sure first always make sure it's not locked and it's not locked. This is the refrigerator part. See how big that is? There's lots it's, of room. Example. More than lots more than of room enough. in there. This is much bigger than most Class B refrigerators. And we showed you that before. This is the freezer part. All right, that takes us to one more area of this thing, and that is the bathroom. The Would bathroom. you like to show the bathroom? Again, there's this. There's this kind of frosted glass, which 
you know, you can see through, but it's only half the length of it in the uh, oh, Galleria. We have a towel rack in here. I'm all for towel racks. Right I like there. towel racks. And Very handy. we've obviously got the light we've got the shower curtain that's wound up so it's not in the way we have the toilet the shower area a very small sink a mirror that's magnifying on one side and just a normal mirror on the hour on the other and uh, a shower head that you uh, move around as needed and i'm sure there's a shut off so that uh, you can soap up and then rinse off let's talk about stinky bathrooms <laughs> That is a plague of most RVs, their stinky bathrooms. Um, Coachman does something pretty cool. Up on the roof is uh, what's called a 360 siphon roof vent. And what that really does is it prevents the holding tank odors from invading your living space. It kind of uh, flushes out any odors up on the roof vent. Uh, and that is really nice to have. No stinky bathrooms. Um, extra little towel rack here that you can hold put put a robe on or another towel or something if you want and it's a it's obviously a wet uh a wet shower a wet bath a shower curtain comes around and uh it all drains out right here and if we're talking about stinky odors here's your fan yeah that's that maxi fan and uh i don't know if i mentioned that on the others but this has a rain safe thing if it's open you're running the fan um it's going to shut uh, by itself if uh, if it detects moisture and coming through. And that is through. such a good feature. We've learned the hard way. <laughs> In the middle of the night, we've got flooded out one time. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of time, rather than air conditioning, just putting the fan on to suck the air out, the warm air out, and you don't need the AC on. And it also is a like a white noise for us sleeping as well as for both sleeping. And sure. I've, I've already looked and thought that where you're standing, is a very good place to put Bo's bed. Yes, Bo could actually bring a bed with him. Yeah, he could sleep there when he wants a bed and he could lay here when he wants hard floor. You mentioned the air conditioner and we've shown it before. Let's turn on the air conditioner and show everybody how awesome these are. This is using the Firefly thing. We'll hit cool and low and uh, we'll turn it on. It's 84 in here right now and we're gonna set the temperature for 70 degrees and uh, I'm gonna put the screen back and shut the door so you can actually hear how quiet this is. Jennifer is right underneath the air conditioning and her microphone is probably picking it up. My microphone can hardly hear it. Well, it's not, it's not bad. We have been in some class B's. Do you remember? Because <laughs> we do often, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do our video editing at night and we will record narration and we'd have to turn the air off because it made so much noise. You couldn't even talk to each other. Uh, this again is that Truma AC and I cannot sing the praises of Truma enough for making uh, such a great air conditioner. And again, hats off to Coachman. Uh, we've seen this now in all three models of the Coachman we have tested and been impressed. So the air conditioning is on, mm -hmm. all the lights are on. We're running off the lithium batteries and I can run as we're doing right now for 11 hours and uh, 56 minutes, almost uh, 12 hours. Now it's 10 hours and 52 minutes. You know, I am sure the lights don't drain much. Turn, no, can, these are all LED lights. Can, I mean, if you turned it off, it probably wouldn't make any difference at all as to how long you could run the AC. But you do not need a generator on these. No. This uh, lithium battery solution the Coachman has come across and their supercharger, the alternator, the engine alternator that charges them, uh, does an incredible job but to be able to run your ac uh, for 11 12 hours like that is uh is awesome isn't it it sure is and uh we didn't point out that there's a little step here so uh just i think so we said it was raised but yeah there's a little step there yeah so it's comfortable to sit here yeah i wonder if you could get a stadium seat and rest your back <laughs> No, really? Yeah. Well, I think my biggest complaint about this one is not being able to use that to sit. Now, we should point out that this is this floor plan. Yes. They have other floor plans that have a sofa bed that makes up, that has a really comfortable sofa that you could sit on, and you, could, you can check them all out. 
Um, but this is the, this particular floor plan, and <laughs> you know that's a minor complaint. This gets a thumbs up. This unit, I mean, it is it is lovely. All it right, is very so, very nice. I'm gonna have trouble keeping you from buying this because of that have workstation. <laughs> I do. For me, the absolute number one uh, uh, thing that makes me say I love this thing more than any other I've seen is that workstation. Um, for you, what is your number one thing? Uh, my number one thing is I like to sleep. <laughs> and I, like, I like a comfortable, comfortable mattress. I, I don't want that much to sleep on. Or, you know, I mean, this is comfortable. And the older I get, the more I appreciate a good mattress. And I think number three that we both would agree on. Um, storage. The storage. Yeah. Lots of cabinets and the garage. Yeah. So that is on this big monster, 22 foot, four inch. The largest, one of the largest Class Bs you'll find anywhere the, on the extended Mercedes chassis. There's other things we really like, as we've said, we've talked about the battery situation, how quiet the air is, how long it lasts on batteries. And as you saw when we were just demonstrating the cab is how comfortable this cab is. Uh, easy, no, le no different levels there. You just get up and you can walk right back here very comfortably. And I don't know, is it just me or is that fan a little larger than a lot of them? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, it looks it might a, be. it looks a good size, and it's in you know having the bathroom in the middle and the kitchen to the other side. The kitchen smells, and the bathroom. If you're taking a shower, the steam bathroom smells. You can turn that fan on yeah. and uh, get the smells the up. Maxi fan, they really are nice. All right, so that is the uh, Galleria. Uh, we're impressed. It's a nice unit. Um, we. Can't wait now to see what else as we continue our reviews of Class B's. We've now seen all three uh, Coachman, all three uh, chassis, the Promaster, uh, the Transit, and of course the Mercedes. Uh, we've done two-wheel drive in the Nova, uh, four-wheel drive in this, and, and um, all-wheel drive in the uh, Transit. So, I, I tell you, something that's important to me is the room that you have with the Mercedes, the leg comfort and the space between the passenger and the driver. And a Mercedes is a Mercedes. I mean, the Ford is wonderful, the Dodge is good, you know, but uh, there's a little more space there. Yep. All yeah. right. And of course, you can get up close and personal to views like that. This is why you get a Class B, because you can get really close to nature. Just look at this view. Hey, would you do us a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel? We really would appreciate that so much. And we will continue our review of Class B's in uh, future videos. And until we see you again, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Happy trails.